He's been called a scientific hero, one of the most creative and original thinkers of our era. Who would guess that Richard Zare's 50-year career as a world-renowned theoretical and experimental chemist started with a preschool prank played on his dad? My first adventures in chemistry probably was about age four. I urinated into his aquarium that contained tropical fish, and this ended up killing the tropical fish. I was immediately impressed by the power of chemistry. While his father wasn't quite as pleased by the deadly discovery, the consequences of this experiment changed the course of young Richard's life and modern chemistry. I was fortunate I grew up at the time when the laser was invented, first discovered, and no one knew what to do with it. <laughs> Physicists called the laser a solution in search of a problem. Zaire knew the problem. In the 1960s, in his lab at the University of Colorado, he was studying exactly how chemical reactions worked. But Zaire ran into a problem that had plagued chemists for decades. Molecules and atoms are too small to see. Chemistry was a bit of a guessing game. So molecules aren't that big, so I can't see them by eye. However, I can do something to them to make them so you can see them. One of the things I can do is I can excite them with a laser and make them fluoresce. Fluoresce, to glow. Laser-induced fluorescence, or LIF, excites molecules with a laser beam and then measures the light they give off, each molecule having a unique fingerprint of color. With a self-built laser, Zare ignited a revolution. We could see things at a level that had not been possible to be seen before. And it certainly made one believe in the atomistic and molecular picture, because you can't see them with your eye, but you could certainly see the fluorescence. Suddenly, we could actually see the shapes of molecules, witness their evolutions as chemical reactions unfolded in Zare's laser light. We would actually, I think, be the first people to actually see a single molecule at room temperature in a liquid actually fluoresce and detect it. And so I was excited about those possibilities. And those possibilities seemed endless. Zara's motto, once you have a hammer, everything begins to look like a nail. Over the decades, LIF has been used to discover petroleum leaks in the ocean floor, detect cancer, reduce carbon emissions, determine the age of ancient artifacts, designed new green chemical processes, and even led to one of the greatest achievements of the 20th century, the sequencing of the human genome. I actually think a, a good scientist who believes and disbelieves at the same time, you gotta believe and put forward an idea why something is happening. And after you put forward that idea, you gotta turn around and say, is that really so? And is that true? And question it, trying to understand why things are the way they are a belief really that there can be an explanation for what you're seeing. You often don't understand the power of the question. It's actually more important than the answer. <laughs>